Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Autumn and Revision. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we must sanitize. Remember, when we are sanitizing, we start by putting sanitizer in our hand, then we rub inside, around our hands, very good, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and lastly our fingertips as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about sight words, number bonds, and rhyming. For our exercise, boys and girls, let's now turn to page 20. On page 20, we are going to be doing sight words. Now remember, we have done these words before. So this is revision. And now that we know the sight words, we are going to use them to build sentences. So first, we need to read the sight words. Please repeat after me. One, two, three, two, and my, in, it. Well done. Let's repeat them again. This time try to read with me. One, two, three, two, and my, in, it. Good job, everyone. Now that we know our sight words, let's try and use them to build sentences. Now I have given some examples here on the board and I want you to try and make your own sentences. Now the first thing we need to remember when we're making a sentence is that they must always be a capital letter. I have started all of my sentences with a capital letter. Then after that, I'd like you to please make sure that you use your sight words correctly. The first sentence says, the ball is in the box. So I have used the sight word in. The next one says, I have two eyes. As you can see, the sight word that I have used is two, the number two. The next one says, he likes red and green. Our sight word in this sentence is the word and. 
Let's take a look at the next one, number four. I have said, we need to go home. Our sight word in this case is the other two. Then the last one says, a cow has one tail. And our sight word there is the word one. So you can make up your own sentences, but before you do, you need to make sure that first it makes sense in your head. Then you start with a capital letter and make sure you spell all your words correctly. Don't forget to put your sight word. And when you are done with your sentence, you put a full stop. Otherwise, your sentence will be wrong. So take your time when you're building your sentences. Be creative and I will see you when you are done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our lesson now, let us turn to page 21. On page 21, we are going to be doing number bonds. Now, this is when we have three numbers, but one is missing and we need to find it by either adding or subtracting. Now, the top numbers that you can see in circles is our answer, but we need to find out how we get our answer by looking for the other number. So, we are going to start with the first two that you can see. So, let's take a look at the board. I also have the first two and these are actually not gloves, my children. These are called mittens. Gloves is when you can actually see the fingers, but mittens is when it's all covered round. So we have our mittens with missing numbers. And whew, remember, August is a month that it starts to get very, very cold. So we need to find the numbers so that we can wear our mittens. So the first thing we're going to do for this one is to write our answer. And our answer here is nine. The reason why we're writing our answer first is so that we can find the missing number for the mitten and we are going to subtract or take away. So we say 9 minus the number on the mitten we have, which is 2. So if we say 9 take away 2, that's when we'll be able to find our answer. So, we are going to use our fingers so that we can get the correct answer. Let's now show nine fingers. Very good. Now, I want you to take away two. One, two. Now, let's count how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our answer becomes seven. So we are going to write our seven. Now we have a complete pair of mittens. Let's go to the next one where we have our answer, but the mitten that's missing is now this side. So the first thing we do is write our answer down, which is five. And because we're looking for a missing number on the mitten, we need to subtract. So we say five minus, and then we take the number for the mitten we can see, which is three. 
So 5 minus 3 equals. Again, I would like us to use our fingers. So first, I need 5 fingers. Very good. Now I want you to hold up your fingers and then you're going to take away 3. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. So how many do I have left? That's right. I have 1, 2. So our answer is going to be 2. Now we have a complete set of mittens. I want you to continue doing this by yourselves. Use your fingers to help you count and make sure that you get all your mittens for autumn. <laughs> for autumn. I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now, let us take a look at our exercise on page 22. On page 22, we are going to be doing rhyming words. And this time, we are going to color the rhyming word for each row. The first word that we are going to be taking a look at is bat. Now, each word has been given a word and a picture so that you can try and find the rhyming word quicker. Remember, sometimes there's more than one rhyming word, so you need to open your ears and listen carefully. So our first word is bat and we need to take a look at the other words to see which one rhymes. Is it the word hat or glove or tree or bib? If you said the word hat well done! So you are going to color in the hat. Hat and bat. Yes, they rhyme. Good job. Now the next picture we can see is a dog. Now we need to find the rhyming word. Is it the word snail or sun? or frog or flower. If you said that it is the word sun, uh oh, they don't rhyme. Dog, sun. No, they don't rhyme. But if you said the word frog, Yes, well done. Dog, frog. Dog, frog. Yes, they rhyme. So you are going to color in the frog. The rest of them I want you to do by yourselves. Take your time and you are allowed to read the word with the other word to see see and hear what rhyme they make. Make sure that when you are coloring as well, you color beautifully. And after this, I'm going to see you after our advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you don't know, you can always ask. 
So now that we are done with our lesson, it's time to sanitize. And this time we can sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Yay! Good job everyone! I wonder though, I haven't seen Sashi the whole day. He said he was going to pay me a visit. Where is my special friend? Oh, there you are. Hello, Sashi. <laughs> so, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today. And goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.